Hello friends, welcome again to Mitty's Kitchen and today we are planning to make alu paratha and alu you know that that's the another favorite vegetables for us and uh, I really enjoy in my life alu very much because when I was working in some of the places and you can find a lot of times good green veggies so definite alu was always handy for that so i want to make it today alu paratha so what we can do i can cross these all alus in this you can see that in our crater So friend, you can see that I had alu, five aloes that I had grated that and also I have three and a half cup of uh, uh, wheat flour that is like a regular wheat flour and uh, here I have ghee for the frying and also this is one teaspoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of green chili powder and half his ginger powder. And here I have some dry ingredients which is like a couple tablespoon of cilantro and close to the cilantro I have uh, dry methi that is we call the kasuri methi and also the, for the taste lemon uh, sorry the salt and the coriander powder this is funnel seed this is garam masala these two type of red chili powder and uh, turmeric and also this is our hang so let's we start now so first we will add our alu I like this way is much better because so many times people had uh, problem to when we mix the alu mix in the roti and then is breaking down so this is the best way to cook this uh, and alu paratha and this is garlic and ginger paste also we will add all dry spices this point we will add our lemon juice now I will add some keys in that it's really making very well you know test and also very soft too with the key test so now we will see how much water we needed to make a dough so you can see that is potato have enough moisture so it's making very well so we might don't need much water just a small amount so first we need to do everything mix well so all spices touch our flour and is uh, making very tasty parathas so you can see that i have plenty of uh, so now friends we can start to making our parathas so I have made this dough and I have kept it almost like uh, 10 minutes so we can make like uh, whatever size you like it you can make it like medium large you know sometimes people likes very small sometimes it's medium depending on you how you like it but I like to maintain certain size so we can make it some few parathas so
all the time we love aloo products so you know and aloo is one of the my favorites so i really like it so we can make aloo paratha We don't have to make it too thin, just little bit medium is really nice. Also, I have my stove on the medium heat, so we can start now to making our parathas. I will increase little bit of heat because my pan is little bit thick, so it has to be regular heat. So you can see that our one side cooked very good. So now we will let it cook on other side and we have to maintain the heat so it can bring really nice texture on the top of that. So at this point I will add some ghee. If you like oil, you can use oil too. So, any kind of liquid will work with paratha. You can see that my paratha is turning very well and it's like both sides cooking well. If you have any question, any comments regarding of this recipes, please let me know in my comment box and I will surely reply that and I want you to follow this recipe so you will enjoy this paratha. And I have always been my teenager life, I have spent with my sister Sarli and my sister Sarli is very good cook. She likes to cook and uh, I learn from her a lot. So you know so many times in life we have good inspiration when we are around with some important people who is really focused on your life and also theirs too. So I really like and I learn a lot of from my sister. So and as I grew up I really developed my hobby for cooking. and. Uh, I really love that so much. So friends, now you can see that our paratha is done. 
and also I have very nice uh, mango pickle sweet mango pickle and uh, I really like it I'm buying from one of the grocery store and it is uh, really great pickle so you can use any kind of other chutneys if you like it green chilies or mango chilies or something whatever you like it you know but paratha is really tasty you can see that it turned out so well you know it has to be soft so i hope you like my recipes and please let me know if you have any question comments we will definitely chat with that and uh, until then we will see you back again with another simple recipes and if you like these videos please subscribe and also i really appreciate bottom of my heart that who have friends and lot of friends around the world who is supporting for these videos i really appreciate for that thank you again and see you again with the simple recipes until then have a blessed day